Japan is known for its capsule hotels, so I guess it's time to try one out. And I'm treating this as a tourist, as in, I've got my laptop with me, so I'm going to be working tonight, like making this vlog. I'm also really hungry because I haven't eaten anything in six hours. I haven't slept well in the past uh, weeks. Overall, I am feeling like shit. So I am in the absolutely correct tourist mind state. Now, I have tried this once before when I was visiting for two weeks. The problem was you can't really get a capsule hotel the same night that you want to go there. Because I guess the hotel in the name means that you still have to book it in advance. Even though I thought capsule hotels were for people who, I don't know, stayed too late in Tokyo and couldn't get home. So they just rented out a capsule or people who spontaneously wanted to sleep. But I guess it's, you still need to book a lot in advance. But today, I'm not giving up that easily. Last time, the problem was I wanted to go to a specific capsule hotel that every YouTuber goes to. But this time, I'm just going to go to any capsule hotel. Or I'm just going to end up sleeping on the street because there's no going back this time. All right, it took me 30 minutes, but I found one that has two capsules left for today. Keep in mind, it is not the weekend. It is Tuesday. It is Monday. This is 38 euros to stay for a night. Stay plan, the use plan, hot springs. So I had to put away my uh, shoes and I got three pajamas. So we have all-inclusive curry in the morning. We can eat rice right now. Also all-inclusive, which is kind of crazy. So I think I might have to check out the lounge afterwards. But first, let's check the capsule. Kawabanga. a lot of text-to-speech in this video because it is so quiet there like I can hear the slightest movement of the person like 10 pods away from me so let me see if I can remember everything correctly about the pod itself went in the pod hey guys check out the amenities I like everything the pod has to offer here we have a USB charger with all the wires you need and this is the main control of the pod we can change the fan speeds the lights the alarm I don't really want to set the fan on because my god it looks so awful on the inside but there's literally no air there if you open the slide there's air everywhere around it but there's just no air inside the pod once you close it and it is pretty bad we also have earphones and a tv that pretty much concludes the pod review i didn't want to put the robe on because i want to go to the cafe lounge and i'm not sure if that's allowed there. So I'm just gonna go out like this. There's probably cameras here. I feel like half the reason why people would wake up here is just the slippers. Like, listen to this. Quick check of what we have. More cups. A toothbrush with a little toothpaste, which is great because I forgot mine. So is that toothpaste in a giant tub like that? That is crazy cool. All right, you guys ready for a toilet review? Bro, there's so many mirrors everywhere. Urinals? We will promise you. What the fuck? Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind shitting here in the morning. Pretty decent, though I don't really get it. Like most of the pods seem empty. So I'm just wondering when are the rest of the people coming here? Uh, do people just arrive at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m.? Because right now, out of like all the pods on this floor, there were like two occupied outside of mine. And on the website, it said there's only two left. So <laughs> what's going on? So keep in mind to hydrate. 
especially in a desert like this. Let's check out the massage. Massage chairs? Wait, should I didn't bring my money and the vending machines? Ooh, and the free rice? Why? Wine? You can't, you have to be kidding me. There's no way this place has free alcohol. It just wouldn't make any monetary sense. Plus food? If you can get food here, plus alcohol, plus, I don't know about the spa, but if the spa is free, you're literally spending less money here than you would at like a normal restaurant. Oh, 1500 yen for the spa. Wait, no, 500? 2000. Wait, what? I need to translate this. What is this? You can loan all of these books, all of this manga. Right, we got Naruto, we got Demon Slayer, we got One Piece. All right, let's check out the co-work and cafe. It was way too awkward with my camera, so I instantly left. Sheesh, you even got pets here. Not right now, I'm just gonna set up my working setup. That's so good. Oh, you don't go anywhere without my 12 monitor setup. I found a Japanese game show where they have a bunch of skaters together and it's like a total wipeout style competition. It was pretty cool. I don't know what they put in there, or maybe it's like the excess carbon dioxide, but I'm feeling really sleepy. Usually I don't feel this sleepy, so that's kind of nice. But it's been an hour, let's check out the lounge, maybe there's less people here now. So I went back to the diner, there were free drink machines there with all sorts of soft drinks. Got myself some apple juicy. They indeed offer free alcoholic beverages and really highlight that fact. We'll get some Kima curry in the morning. There's also two private rooms behind a curtain to work on your stuff so I have no idea why I'm doing this in the pod. And indeed you do have a massage chair and it is for free. The only thing that cost money there was the vending machine for Strong Zero. But for now, I'm going to try and sleep a bit. Let's see if I can get my poor sleep score up but to see if a capsule hotel is good for sleep, subscribe and check back tomorrow. See you guys then. Ooh, you. Did someone shard a bit? Oopsie. Nobody needs to know. It can be their secret.